Oh, wait, well, let's start with phase one, the exciting pictures. And we're going to go and look at this preschool and children's space first. So some of the main objectives we had for this space, number one was convenient. And when I say convenient, I don't mean you. I mean the unbeliever, the one who walks in and does not know church, does not know Christ. Can we make it convenient for the unbeliever to come in and see open-hearted hospitality and relational authenticity, that they can connect as soon as they walk in the door, that they can identify where to go with their children, and it looks safe, and it looks fun, and it looks engaging, convenient for the unbeliever. Strategic, strategic for us in our programming, that we could have all of our young people on the same side of our campus. It allows for our volunteers to fluctuate if we have overflow and for our kids within the different age-graded ministries and it increases uh, stewardship in our programming. Strategic and certainly safe. Improved safety within the children's ministry. Uh, Better collaboration between our safety team and the check-in teams and the shepherds and the disciplers that are serving within each small group room for the children. And so as we set this out, I'm going to walk you in the front door of the atrium as if you came in to the new atrium space, and here's what it could look like. So you walk in the front doors, and the atrium looks a little different. Opened up a little bit, and you can easily identify some space for children. So on the left side, you see on the first floor our preschool ministry which is a current check-in, and that would remain in the same location. It's just opened up to allow for more engagement between those who are in the common space in the preschool area. It's still secure and safe entrance on both the first floor and second floor for preschool on floor one and children on floor two. So we're going to zoom in here and take a little bit different perspective. And we're going to start going into that first floor preschool space. When I get inside that secure area, the first door on my right would be a new playroom. This is designed specifically for little kids. For 45 years, Second Baptist has had a Mother's Day Out daycare child development ministry going on during weekday. And it has been a foundational part of ministry for our community. And the need is greater now than ever. The need continues to grow for daycare and and child development. I tell you what, we are growing in numbers in that capacity. We opened up a kindergarten and it filled up immediately with registration. We have over 120 kids now and over 90 families that participate in our weekday child development. And the Lord has grown that even this year and it continues to. This is going to be a great resource for serving the community with that ministry during the week. Certainly available for church within the preschool ministry, but a great asset for indoor play for that child development center. I take you back into the hallway now, looking down the hall in what is known as our tiny town. And we know that Identity is something we always want to encourage little children. So we've got some mirrors there for them to see that they're blessed, that they're a gift, that they're loved. We're just updating the tiny town space. We're just stewarding the space we have here, giving it an update. As I turn to the left, you see an entrance to what is currently our nursery, but we have a great need for a large group room in this space. We currently are serving large group in a small room, and we don't have a large group room for preschool. In fact, during VBS, we had so many kids in large group at VBS, we had to meet in the hallway because we didn't have a large enough space for them to meet. And uh, it was fun to see them in the hallway, but it wasn't real practical. And so we're repurposing this space as I go through these doors for a new large group room, for our preschool ministry. I take you back out into the hallway, and now I took you to the end of that hallway, and we're looking south. We're looking back into the atrium, and that's where we're gonna go. And that is our preschool design work. 